guess what came in the mail? I am so over the moon excited! I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. My press came in the mail today, and I couldn't be any more excited. So it came, and on top, there was an extra roll of vinyl. Yay! Today's video is sponsored by HTV Rants. That's H-T-V-R-O-N-T-S. And they have sent me an automatic heat press, the 15 by 15 inch. It was released in June 2022. So this is their new press and I am so excited to have it. Just in time for the holidays. What a wonderful Christmas gift this would make. Look at it by my Cricut. Oh, it's perfection. I chose the white, but it does come in white or a very pretty light blue color. One thing I love about it is that it has an automatic lifting structure, and that's the part that you're seeing now, this top part. Um, it goes around to the back of the machine, and it raises and lowers it and gives even pressing all the way through that plate on the bottom. It's an ironing. See the little ironing mat under there? It gives even pressure and heat from side to side, which makes it perfect for both vinyl and for sublimation. It weighs just over 40 pounds, which makes it easy to pick up and to relocate. You see the little handle there? It has one on each side and you can just pick it up. It plugs in with one cord, which makes it super simple. So getting it out of the box and setting it up took no time. You just literally take the packaging out, all of the foam and plastic and just sit it on the table and plug it in. Easy as can be. It is very streamlined and modern looking. Very nice. So taking a look at the front, we have the switch, which is the power, the timer, the temperature, we have the modes, the auto, custom, the increase, the decrease, and then the R on the side actually starts it. It lowers that down onto this mat. This comes out very easily. You just pull it out, and then you can see that beautiful gray mat under there. And it is indeed 15 by 15. I wanted to go ahead and measure that for you so you can see, which makes this really good for bigger projects that you do. If you like to do bigger sublimation or vinyl projects. And that mat does go from edge to edge for nice, even temperature control. And that keeps you from getting hot or cold spots where your vinyl is peeling up, which is a pain in the behind. I think we all have been there. And then it is a very easy touch close. So I'm just using one finger and just pushing this in. If anything gets caught in the way, it'll start beeping and the lights will flash and you can adjust. So for the heat press, it's available in blue or white. It's fast heating in six seconds from room temperature and it will turn off automatically after 10 minutes. Even heat edge to edge. It has a 15 by 15 inch heat plate. There are fast modes and you can set two of your own preference. It will cool quickly and it is lightweight and easy to relocate or to move. So you can take it with you if you want to go somewhere. Now we're going to do a sublimated Halloween t-shirt. So this is a design I made myself from Canva. I want to remind you of a few things. If you are doing sublimation, you need to flip your image. So that's what I've done here. Halloween is written on that book and I needed to be sure to flip it. And then I'm going to print it. Also a reminder to change from landscape to portrait, depending on which type of a print that you're going to do. So I'm going to change it and you'll see the whole picture is now on there. I love this print. And then I'm going to go over to my Epson and I'm just going to print it out. I am going to be using the, the HTV Ront sublimation paper that they sent me a while back. Also love this item. You can find that in their, in their store and I'm gonna put their links in the description box. Just a reminder, you can check this all out there. So it's very easy to adjust. I'm gonna preheat, pull out this bottom tray. And this is what they would call the iron and board. Isn't this beautiful? so low profile and easy to work with. I'm just going to adjust my temperature and I'm going to adjust my time for sublimation. 
And then the light on the R is red right now, but when it is ready, it will turn green. I'm gonna put down my T-shirt. I have a piece of butcher paper in between. I'm gonna use some of my heat transfer tape so that I don't make a mess and nothing slips around. But I have to tell you the way that this ironing board slides in and out, there's really no jostling around or um, since you're not adjusting it yourself, there's no movement that moves that paper out of the way. So, you know, if you wanted to take a chance, if you were a betting person, you could probably use that without tape, but you know, don't take my word for it. We don't want to mess anything up. But it looks great. And as soon as it's done preheating, all you have to do is just slide that iron and board in. Simple, simple process. You see it is set on rails there. Very nice. And the fact that you can do your own settings, if you prefer something, you can do a lot of batch work at one time, so you can really get a lot of items out. This is super easy. I even struggled when I was doing this video to get, you know, uh, a good long video or a good informational video for you because it just worked so fast. I had no trouble whatsoever. I mean, this would be perfect for beginners. Really, I, it feels like it's foolproof. So once it's in and the press is down, it begins its countdown. You can walk away from it. It's gonna do its own thing. And when it's finished, it will raise up. You see, it is up now, so no risk of burning. I'm just gonna pull that tray out, simple, simple. And then you get the reveal. Gotta be careful, you know, let it cool for a minute. And then you can go ahead and peel it up. Beautiful, rich, full color. Love to do sublimation. And I do recommend their sublimation paper for these projects. And you see every bit of that is evenly colored. The, the moon in the background is that color because it's ombre, it's supposed to be that way. But it is even color, side to side and all the way around. No cold spots, no hot spots. No burning on that fabric. Perfect. All right, and our next project is gonna be a vinyl design. And we're gonna do this on a bag that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to go into my Cricut Design Space and I'm pull up a very basic, easy black cat because I wanna make this one easy for you beginners and then i am going to choose my vinyl and this black vinyl did come from htv Runt also it peels up like a dream there is no tearing you can you can see that i'm just pulling this here away from the cat the cat has a lot of details on its back and tail but nothing has torn of course, be careful with your projects. You, you know, you don't want to take any chances, but I was being kind of rough on it just to see how it worked and if I liked it and I absolutely love it. And this is in the black heat transfer vinyl. Here's our cat now. She turned out very nicely. I'm going to make my adjustments here for vinyl and put that down on my bag. I'm not sure what this material is from Dollar Tree. I do not know, but it is a juncture brand. I'm gonna put my paper on top. When I press my button, it lowers it down just like that. And it is going to cook its little way there until it is done, and then it will raise up automatically on its own. I'll let you check that out. There's nothing like a good reveal, is it? So there it is raising on its own, which is beautiful. And I'll come over and pull out the tray. And then we'll see how well this vinyl worked on this bag from Dollar Tree.
and I'll peel it off and that's what our kitty cat looks like. Our sublimation t-shirt number two is going to be next because I couldn't get enough. I had to keep playing around here. Like I said, it's so easy. I'm using 355 for my temperature setting and 45 seconds for my sublimation projects. You use whatever you need to use for particular, um, you know, items that you're working with. So here's another design that I made in my Canva design space. And I'm going to flip it down on my t-shirt. And this is going to be on the back of a t-shirt. Going to have some paper in between there just to keep it from going through and protect the mat underneath your ironing mat. And then I'm just going to close it by pushing the R. It's going to lower that heat plate down on there for a nice even coverage. And the countdown begins. My daughter was in the basement with me in my design space and uh, she was helping me with this. She was very excited that I made her a t-shirt. Okay, now for the reveal. Let's peel it up and see what we have. Very nice. It's spooky time, witches. I've been doing a lot of Halloween crafting, so there's a lot of stuff like that on my channel, and I'll be making some Halloween bags using the sublimation too for my kids this year for their treats. So I hope you'll stick around so you'll be able to watch those too. I'm so excited. Here is the final reveal of our three projects. And these are just some crafts that I've already been working on this year. So I decided to just put these with my backdrop. Here is our sublimated witch hat. This is her little desk maybe where she gets her spells and studying done. Here is that bag and I've just stuffed it with a scarf and some greenery, some fall greenery, very pretty. This could be used as a treat bag as well, or you could use it as your own bag. You could use it as a work bag, put your tablet, your phone in there, maybe a blanket, go have a picnic, sit outside and enjoy the changing weather. I love these projects. I love being able to use vinyl and I use sublimation and the fact that it is so easy and quick to use is important especially to me because I'm a crafter and YouTube is my job. This is what I do on my channel and having more time to create helps me so much. Everything just goes along so much quicker and so much easier and it doesn't take up a lot of room either in my space. That makes a big difference. It makes me more creative. It makes me be able to push out more videos and more projects. And being that this is my job, I like to show you items that I use so that you can also use them. Maybe you don't have it in your budget right now to get a press. You know, that's totally okay. But it is the time of year to, to maybe suggest that on your Christmas list. Maybe it's something you want to save a little money for. Maybe if you are a creator and a crafter who loves sublimation and vinyl crafting, you know, save up a little money and get one for yourself. It's worth it. It is totally worth it. I absolutely love this machine. It not only looks beautiful, but it matches so well with my Cricut. 
I love that it doesn't take up too much space. I love how easy it is to do projects. Whether you do sublimation or if you do vinyl, I highly recommend this machine. This is a company that I've worked with in the past and I have enjoyed all of their products. I only give my honest opinion when I do reviews. It's important to me that if I'm showing something to you and you're a subscriber and you have your trust in me, that I only bring you items that I believe in. And I have really enjoyed their products. I'm going to put the links in the description box so that you can check out this item and you can check out their store and see what else they have to offer. Thank you so much for watching today. I know you could be anywhere, but you chose this video and this channel, and I appreciate it very much. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!